Alright, hey a review family, keep it I keep it tight. My name is Jay Morris, third review guy, review music for the love of music, and I'm back again to bring you another video. It's a nice day outside, so I figured I would go ahead and do some updates, record some videos in advance, because there is something that I've attended recently that is going to be able to produce many, many videos from it. That being the Blue Ridge Rock Fest in Danville, Virginia. For those of you that don't know, the Blue Ridge Rock Fest is a gigantic festival that this year had one of the most explosive lineups just of any metal or rock fest. And just to name some of the bands off the top of my head, and this isn't even going to scratch the surface, you have Spirit Box, Fever 333, Knocked Loose, Bad Omens, Asking Alexandria, The Ghost Inside, A Day to Remember, Hate Breed, Rob Zombie, Skillet, Rise Against, Shine Down, Five Finger Death Punch, Breaking Benjamin, Brand of Sacrifice, Hala, Miss May I, Crown the Empire, it was just incredible, just non-stop band after band after band that were just phenomenal. And if you want to go to their website, you can see all of the lineup. But the first video that I'm going to be making in sort of this series talking about the Blue Ridge Rock Fest, which there's going to be a pretty big vlog going out of oh, the first two days. And it's pretty much from start to finish I was vlogging the whole experience from the time I left my home to drive to the time of me leaving. So my dad and I, we had the four day pass, so we were able to go for the full four days. It was going to go from Thursday to Sunday, but unfortunately that got cut short and we had to leave on the night of the second day. And this comes from the fact that I got very, very badly crowd killed. So I understand that crowd killing is a very infamous thing that a lot of people advise against at hardcore shows and metalcore shows. It's one of those things that you just don't do, that you swear off of. And there were even some people in the pits that had like these pit crew shirts on and they were like, crowd killing is forbidden, help your family up. And for the most part, people obey that, people comply with that, and people try not to hurt each other. Uh, I joined quite a few pits throughout my stay. I was in Data Remembers, Spirit Boxes, Ghost Inside. I was in the thick of a lot of pits. And the bad happened at Asking Alexandria, actually, on the song The Violence. So if anyone watching this by chance has any sort of video of the pit, I genuinely would be curious to see that. Just let me know, shoot me a message. I'd be curious to know. What happened is I was in the pit for multiple songs and I was getting pretty tired. I was getting beat up pretty hard and I was tired. So I wanted to go to the outskirts of the pit and just push some people, help some people, that type of thing. It's what I usually do whenever I start to get tired in the pit, just to take a little bit of a break so I don't get injured. There was a larger man that was behind me and when a breakdown was about to start and a circle pit was forming there were a lot of people that were hardcore dancing but no one was taking it necessarily like, too seriously no one was being too violent with it at the start of the breakdown right as it was about to drop as I was sitting there I wasn't very tense I wasn't tensed up I wasn't really prepared or protected or ready for anything because where I was standing I was not inside of the pit I was not like in the circle pit I was not dancing in the pit I was not doing anything that signified that I was part of that pit the man behind me decided it would be a good idea to try to get me in the pit by taking both of his palms and as hard as he could pressing me on the back and shoving me down into the pit. So me losing my balance, I ended up catapulting and flying forward through the air basically onto the ground and came down on both of my wrists extremely, extremely hard. Uh, I got very dizzy, I got lightheaded, uh, about three or four people surrounded me and helped me up. My shoes came off during it so this was right at a breakdown so people were dancing around people were being very violent and where I was people weren't really paying attention so I'm very grateful that I didn't get trampled on or something like that let me make sure that the lens isn't too foggy it's a very sunny day so I apologize if it's like not the best quality I just wanted to do it out here so immediately I knew something was wrong uh, I immediately lost range of motion in my wrists and my arms started throbbing the fall was extremely hard um, if I can even replicate it, just full force straight ahead coming down with my wrist curled. I didn't hear a snap or a pop, but that may have been because there was music blaring. So immediately, uh, my dad and I, we went over to the medical tent, which was the Red Cross, and I just want to say, which I will get into in another video where I talk about the poor management of the festival, which was just incredibly poorly managed. 
they were completely useless. They absolutely did nothing for me. They had nothing medication-wise. They had no sort of x-ray machine on. Uh, they had nothing. Uh, I would have hated if I was genuinely, like, dying of something because the dude just basically picked up my arm, said, hey, it might swell. We can't really do much about it. We don't know what's going on. Didn't give me a splint. Didn't give me a brace. Didn't do anything. So at that point, it was about 4.30 or 4.40 in the day, and this show goes on until 11. And I was just not interested in missing out on the day, so I just bucked up and said, fuck it. We're just going to go through the day. Whatever happens, happens. But I knew something was wrong, because anytime someone was bumping into my arms, I knew I was feeling like... Uh, a lot of pain in specifically my right arm, but my range of motion was absolutely terrible. And even now, I can't raise my arms or lower them to a certain degree. Uh, I had immense pain whenever I tried to lift or lower, and it wasn't until we got back to the hotel we were staying at that I realized that I was unable to change my own shirt because my range of motion was so limited that my arms were capping out when I tried to lift them to a certain degree. And this is just basically a PSA that that it can happen to anyone, and please be careful in pits. Crowd killing is fucking disgusting, it's gross, and if you are actively going out of your way to inflict harm, force people in the pit, or hurt people that are not actively participating in the pit, you can just tell when someone's being more aggressive and more violent than it's called for, because you see people fist bumping, you see people hugging, you see people asking if they're okay. This person pushed me with all of their force, and yeah, I'm a small person, but I can usually hold my own in a pit. I can stay on my feet. For the duration of the rest of the shows, I mean before it, like prior to this happening, I didn't get knocked down and I was in some very aggressive metalcore mosh friendly pits. Didn't get knocked down. It was all in good fun. It wasn't until I wasn't prepared that I literally got curb stomped into the pit and ended up injuring both of my arms which they are still very injured and I don't know what exactly is wrong with them. There was a period where I thought there was the potential that they were broken but I don't believe they are broken so that's good. It cut the trip short though and it was really shitty because I could have went on the other two days but just for my own health it was not worth doing because my arms were just too fucked uh, coming into that night that if I would have went back there would have been the potential for me to injure it further even if I wasn't participating in a pit or anything like that. It just wasn't going to be worth it. Uh, I just want to say, don't crowd kill, don't get overly aggressive unless you have someone's consent and you're just fighting or brawling or dueling or whatever you want to call it, roughhousing in the middle of the pit or something because there were people doing that. If someone's not actively participating in the pit, leave them alone. This was something that was just completely uncalled for and it was someone that had the music get to their head and they ended up just going way too far. Crowd killing is not cool and contrary to what some hardcore metalcore kids think, as someone who attended this show with tens of thousands of people, most people don't crowd kill, most people don't think crowd killing's okay, and if you do, that's just wrong. So I am officially back home, and I'm probably going to be releasing quite a few videos on the Blue Ridge Rock Fest, because I think it's like a, a very big event, and I also want to get some of the footage out of the days that I did go there, but it was just very bad, I guess, in the sense of I was scared for my arms, and I still am to some degree, because they, they definitely do hurt very bad, specifically around like my elbows but I just want to know were any of you guys at the Blue Ridge Rock Fest and past that point have you guys ever been badly crowd killed before or sustained a very bad injury in the pit as a result of someone taking it too far definitely let me know down in the comment section below but I'm happy to be back and I'm gonna hopefully get some videos out for you guys because it's not really like I have much else to do I'm just trying to rest a lot I'm trying to just stay on my ass a lot and uh, get better, recover a little bit, and that's the best I can do. So let me know all of your thoughts about this in the comment section. I can't wait to hear it, but I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.